Hello everyone and welcome back to Life is Strange True Colors Wavelengths, the DLC where you follow Steph and her adventures being a DJ in, uh, uh, was it Haven Point, Colorado? Or wherever, wherever it's called. <laughs> it's been a bit since I played the game, okay? But yeah, I guess I just decided since I have a tiny bit more free time <laughs> than I usually do, uh, that I might just continue this and actually finish this little DLC ting because it's been a while, <laughs> like almost a year to be exact. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. The second part, especially, yeah, the video for that is just extremely messed up. You know, I know. <laughs> but, I don't know. Like, I, I want to, like, re-upload it without just the music being, like, censored, basically. But, I don't know. Like, I like the thing is that, like, it got blocked, basically, because Soccer Mommy and frickin' Hailey Kyoko <laughs> were, uh, you know, audible during a, uh, a section of it. And that was also before I recorded <laughs> audio and, uh... Yeah, my audio and freaking the game audio separately, so it was a bit challenging. I didn't really know how to deal with that. <laughs> I tried to use some workarounds. I originally tried to use, like, uh, <laughs> my music from my own library, but I don't know. I guess I might uh, look into freaking replacing that video or just, like, re-uploading it to see if uh, the copyright thing and the blocking uh, due to copyright is still gonna stick, but yeah, anyways. I guess I'll just continue this and finish it, yeah. The last time I checked it was fall, right? Yeah, like the opening of the last episode, which I think I kept in, yeah, was showing that it was Halloween, so. <laughs> I guess I'll just continue it, and hopefully it knows my progress, because if not, this is gonna be embarrassing. <laughs> do not have okay. to freaking. work mode, go. Yeah, do not have to, uh, I wonder if this is, yeah, is this, is this the right thing? Well, there's no rainbows here. Is this the right one? I think so. Man, why the hell is there a loading screen for just exiting the booth, man? Come on. I stuck the chore list on my laptop. Let's see what still needs doing. Yeah, I think this is right, right? Yeah. This is, yeah, this is Halloween. It's Halloween team because it's fall. There you go. I think, right? Hanging plant. <laughs> Brian says it's state law for every place of business to feature living greenery. And I still can't tell if he's lying. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> especially with the leaves. <laughs> I might just, like, yeah, depending on, like, how long this is, I might cut it up or just, like, play through all of it. So, I guess. Oh, man. A game where I actually have to play. Wow. <laughs> Who would have freaking taught? New albums. Fresh goodies. Time to find your home. Time and blood? Charlotte and I started this book club where we read the trashiest crime novels Why? and then talk about how much we love them. Why? <laughs> uh, time and blood. Oh, uh, man. Yeah, I mean, I guess. I guess. I guess there, there are book clubs like that. Just checking out some other options. <laughs> Mammoth job search? Oh, look at that. She's looking for DJ jobs. Oh, look at this. A night of remembrance. <laughs> Please join our community for the annual Arcadia Bay candlelight vigil to honor the lives lost in the tragic storm of 2013. Dude, that's 11 years ago, man. That's insane. I guess in, when this is taking place, it's like, what, 2018, 19? So it's like six years ago. We stand together in an ongoing effort to heal, rebuild, and remember. Like, are they rebuilding the tower or what? Like, what are they going to rebuild? I don't know, man. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, I guess that, yeah, that was the choice uh, it asked me when I started this. Yeah, did I save Arcadia Bay? So I guess, like, I wonder what would have happened if I did, said I didn't. <laughs> or I did save it. <laughs> uh, Dude or maybe I chose the other option. For three hours. Didn't buy a thing. On the plus side... He did leave all this shit for me to clean up. Oh yeah, the listening station. Yeah, this was not here originally. Yeah. I dragged this whole ass chair out here and I haven't even used it for a nap yet. Criminal. Chef Betty's been getting a lot of traffic from this Bolton board. 
Think I'll ask for my cut and risotto. A por okay, a portrait. Definitely getting this one. Ooh, framed. cubism. Yeah, it looks very cubist. Thanks for being my practice model. You were too wrapped up in the, the jukebox game to notice. Oh, Charlotte. This is... Yeah, you were slowly seeing that, yeah, Gabe and Charlotte are... Uh, she's becoming <laughs> entrenched <laughs> with them. Let's check our phone. Oh, yeah, our match. Oh, yeah. I do not remember the ones we freaking matched with last time. <laughs> so, yeah. She's 33, Liz. <laughs> yes, it hurt. What? Oh, uh, I mean, sure. <laughs> We're still in the swiping stage, man. Oh, man. Not so much a gym rat as a gym weasel. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> Rock climbing, man. Not an actual freaking <laughs> climber. Let's not waste each other's time. Oh, <sighs> uh, no, man. Hattie, who put the ram in the ram -a lama ding dong? Okay, cool. Why did I swipe right? <laughs> oh, man. Check out my Synthwave Project Witch Holiday. Sure, man. Oh, snap. Look at that. Oh, man. Another match. Another match. Get it together, Steph. Best foot forward. Okay. All right. All right. Make the first move or wait for it. Make the first move, man. Man. Dude. What do I even say? What? Oh. Actually, forget it. <laughs> Actually, forget it. Ask about her hair or ask about her music. Well, I mean, she said to listen to her synthwave project. Yeah. <laughs> Dope setup. What style of music do you make? Oh, God, you're going to think I'm so pretentious. Try me. <laughs> it's like partway between EDM and experimental bedroom synth pop. So like Passion Pit. You <laughs> got like that. Intelligent dance music. <sighs> I understood, like, two of those words. <laughs> what what word did you understand, Steph? What do you mean? You say you're a music fan. What do you mean? It's ex What do you mean? Synth pop? Do you, you, not know, you, know, you don't, don't know what that means? Okay. Told, okay. Told you, I mean, one of my songs was named after a Borges story I never read. So you're in a good, pretentious company. <laughs> hey, can I ask you something? Shoot. Did you used to be in a band? <laughs> yeah. I was for a while, yeah. I thought so. Two-piece, kinda punky, kinda alt. <laughs> Drugstore makeup. There's a band called Drug Church. <laughs> yeah, maybe it might have been similar to that. It probably would have been something like Sleater Kinney mixed with, like, Charlie Bliss, probably. I think, I probably think it would, it would be, like, punk with, like, a hint of bubble, bubble grunge if I were to freaking <laughs> guess what that music sounded like. That's it. Holy shit, I saw y'all in SLC at, at Atomic Decay. Haha, <laughs> that's crazy. What are the odds? <laughs> what were you doing in SLC? Oh, Salt Lake City. <laughs> what brought you to Salt Lake City? The All-Star Game in 2023? My mom and dad live out there. Oh, okay. I was visiting for my dad's birthday. Do y'all get along? Yeah, I'm just, like, advancing this conversation. Oh, God. Don't tell me you took your dad to a gay punk rock show. Haha, <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I took my little sis to a gay punk rock show. My folks are in me don't really vibe. So what are you up to these days? No more band? <laughs> Chill. Oh, Haven Springs. There you go. <laughs> Almost right. DJing at a radio station. I'm DJing a little at a radio station these days. <laughs> That sounds cool. Yeah, I get to force my musical taste down everyone's throat, which is pretty sick. <laughs> the dream. Well, I should get going. It is cool to get to talk to you. Your band was really good. <laughs> Say good. Yeah, ask her. Come on, man. I mean, hey, I, I have to hit on these at some point, right? Come on. You want to get drinks sometime? I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Indulge me. No, no, it's not like that. You're cool. It's just that Haven Springs is a billion miles away. But I'm super glad we got the chat. Well, okay. Well, <laughs> I I don't think that's a good idea. Well, oh, oh, oh thank you. Great, thanks. Great, I, absolutely. 
Man, dude, god damn, this, this freaking thing, this nails freaking dating apps, man, I don't know. <laughs> uh, you find so many, yeah, dude, there was that one thing, yeah, was it in a previous episode, there was a couple trying to look for a turd? <laughs> oh, man, it's like, we're looking for, to recreate challengers, uh, we need someone. <laughs> this filled up like a week after I printed a new one, which is one of those good problems. Oh man, these are yeah, these are all made up, right? Man, look at all this. Look at all this music. Android acapella, <laughs> blossoms of a rose, the cyan nightmares soundtrack. Oh man, man, everyone's just into cool music, man. Can't believe this was gathering dust in the back when it could have been gathering dust out here. No, so like, what's the things I need to do? CC. This user hasn't hasn't entered a tagline yet. Well, that's probably a, not a good sign, right? <laughs> Shady Creek Run, Colorado. I'm Keg. <laughs> what is going on, man? Corinne, the user hasn't entered a tagline yet. It's probably just a lot of bots, man. Shayna, low-key disability activist, high-key homosexual. Ooh. All right, I'm willing to get. I'm willing. <laughs> I'm willing to let Steph give her a shot, you know. <laughs> Twyla, this user hasn't entered a tagline yet. Sure, man. Fuck you, app. Oh, man. We're still here. Oh, yeah, bubble. Yeah, like, we can look at our previous conversations. Who did we hit it off with? Who did we hit? Yeah, true. Was this? An iguana? <laughs> no, braid. Oh, yeah, this is the one who's looking for a turd. There you go. I remember that. Uh, anything? <laughs> yeah, this, yeah, this is the, this is the one we hit it off with? <laughs> oh, no, this is someone who swiped on accident, man. Damn, dude. Wow, you're so cute. What the hell? I knew a Steph in high school. She was, like, the most consistently positive, cheerful person ever. Oh man, no, no, no! I don't, I don't want to go. I don't want to freaking reply to that. I mean, come on. Okay, who do I have messages with? Mikey. Uh, yeah, this September. Yeah, dude has been way too long. I'm straight up hype about murdering Alamon again. <gasps> Classic Steph Gingrich. You didn't. You yo? Did you still want to chat later, Steph? All right. Well, I guess I'll assume something came up. <laughs> Damn, Mikey getting ignored, man. That's what happens with people you knew from high school, where where you where sometimes where you try to keep a relationship, man. Especially if you live in freaking other places. <gasps> oh man, been a few days. You okay, dude? You got me kind of worried, and I really want to talk to you, especially since tomorrow is what October 11th. Well, you know what tomorrow is. Hit me up. Uh, no, 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 can I message him? Can I message Mikey? No, I cannot do that. <laughs> oh, man, I was about to check just what I needed to do. Listen to my original song, add to Ethan's drawing. Okay. Yeah, and tally the foosball score. Cool. Oh, yeah, I should add a tally for yesterday's match. That game took a lot out of me. But then, they all do. Replay the game? What? Oh, I could replay? Oh, I could, like, pl play it again? Watch and learn, Steph. The master is about to go to work. Oh, man. Oh, Aww, man. Oh, that's God. Adorable. Oh, do, you do I remember how to play? The master? No. Me wrong. Wait, that's which the plan? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to. Yeah, now I have to hit it on the right. Okay, there you go. Dude. Hey. You got something on your face. No. Oh, no. 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 Never mind. That's just what your face looks like. There you go. Got one. One-zero -oh lead, man. Hopefully, this okay, is not representative really of how the NBA face. Finals will go. Just shut up. Oh, it's a look of profound oh, shame man. after losing to me yet again. Dude. There you go. Two-zero. -oh. Two-zero -oh lead. Two-zero -oh leads have never been blown, right? Losers. You've never blown a two-zero -oh lead before. What? What? That's why she hates you? Hey, Gabe, where did you get that scratch on your hand? Shut up. Oh, no. 2 1. Okay, it's fine. 2 1. To... 2 2. I guess we're still in the driver's seat.
There you go. Oh man, I'm I, I'm just really focused on this, man. Pl please. Oh my god, dude. We can come back from down tree too, man. It's been done before. It's been done before. I've seen it. I've seen it with my own eyes. No. <laughs> No oh, man, it's not. This, if this was a seven-game series, he, we, uh, he would have won by now, but it's not. <laughs> it's first to five. Just first to five. It's fine. Oh, man. Dude! Damn it! Well. Aw, don't be too hard on yourself. It's not your fault I'm unbeatable. Can what I replay that hell, again, man? please? Is this table rigged? Is this a grift? I would never cheat at foosball, Steph. A foosball is a sacred right. I'm cursed. That's the only explanation. <laughs> oh man, I was yeah. I guess I guess hopefully Steph is Luka Doncic in that scenario. This <laughs> is. Oh man, I don't know. If, yeah, now nah, I'll get this out before freaking the finals end, right? Yeah, at some point, you know. I guess I have to do the DJ duties. Okay, work mode, go. Same shit. Different day. <laughs> Read all the ads. Answer at least two calls. Oh, the pride bla bracelet is there. I like that he hand wrote in a one with all the exclamation points. <laughs> hey, Steph, I went to my first pride. You totally called it. I made a bunch of friends right away and had a great time. Okay, I did also end up meeting a guy, but that's not the point. Haha. <laughs> I just wanted to send you this bracelet uh, to say thanks. You rock. All right, yeah, sticky dinos. <laughs> Look out for sticky meteorites. Sound Sometimes, effects. This thing is the only reason I come to work. <laughs> Banter. D20. Life's even more random than tabletop. We just don't notice. Yeah, they're real music here. Agnes Obel. Oh, look at that. Hey, all J. Oh, snap, fools. Oh, man. I don't know if I can play these, though. Yeah, these are like the copyrighted options, right? And these are like the, I would assume, the non copyrighted options, right? <laughs> man, Black Bull, man. Oh, look at that. I mean, I think, like, yeah, with full, yeah, Foles released two albums in 2019. Yeah, every everything not saved will be lost. And then this is from the second. A uh, part of that. It, it was basically like a double album, right? And like one was released in like March of 2019 and the other was released in like October. And like, yeah, the first part has songs like uh, On the Luna, Exits, which is really freaking good. I love, yeah, Exits is like a top 10 full song for me. In Degrees, which like kind of, you know, is very extremely dancey, like their danciest freaking song since. Well, until uh, 2022, that that album, Life is Yours. I don't know. And, like, yeah, <laughs> I guess. Oh, man. This All-J album has, like, yeah, it has, like, Left Hand Free, and it has freaking Hunger of the Pine. I don't know. A lot of people, like, really don't really talk about All-J after freaking their debut, you know? They seem to be, like, th this is one of the first bands I listened to getting into indie music type of band. And I guess it was the, the case for me since frickin' <laughs> something good from their first album was in the original game. So, I actually played that episode. <laughs> I might get back to the first game at some point. But yeah, I guess. I guess I don't want to risk being copyrighted, so I guess, you know, I guess I just won't play it, man. I, I think I have the frickin' music at a volume where I don't need to. Yeah, let me see. Oh, I could live stream this. Let me see. If I just turn the audio really down, <laughs> so you won't really need to hear it. Yeah. It's a good song, man. It's a good song. <laughs> oh, man. Whatever. So what? So what, man? Oh, man. Yeah. Have a big decision to make? A nerve-wracking event on the horizon? Wish you knew how it all turns out? With one little call, you can. Give me a ring and have your fortune told right here on air. It's cheaper than life insurance. Yeah, wait, do I have the... Man, oh. it's almost like we're a real radio station now. Still kind of baffles me that <laughs> people like my show. Listeners, da listener data, man. Psh, Kasha, you're still cool as hell. From Kasha Sebesky? 
Wall of Fame, a fantastic idea, honestly, and I'm glad you're doing something with all that old stuff. Careful digging around back there, though. Some of what we hid back there should never be unearth unearthed. Believe it or not, the shop used to be quite the spot. I guess nobody stays hip forever. Speaking of hip, can you explain to me what the hell K-pop is? <laughs> a group of kids from the local high school stopped by the tomb, er, I mean home, to visit us old fossils, and there was one... Uh, the one I was paired with would not stop talking about it. Related, what does it mean for one to stand? I swear I used to be cool. <laughs> Aw, I was kind of pulling for stuff too. Uh, from Poll Critter. Your Poll Critter results are in. Dear Steph, thank you for using Poll Critter. Please remember to tell your friends that Poll Critter is the fastest, easiest way to hear what your audience is thinking. <laughs> yeah, what? Oh, name the devil cat. Valkyrie? <laughs> Scream, <laughs> Steph 2, Princess Knife Fingers. Interesting. Oh uh, man, yeah. My favorite. What's my favorite song on this that album? Probably like into yeah into the surf. And that's really good. Yeah. Yeah, I think I like I like the first like album. Yeah, the first uh, part one more than part two. But you know, into the surf and like was it Ikaria? <laughs> Then I'm trying to remember the ones like Lightning is on that album. The yeah, it ends with Neptune, which is like a 10 minute song. I've only listened to it once. I've listened to the, the songs on part one more than part two, so. Yeah, the Black Lantern, Avalanche Ice Cream. Here's an offer from our most loyal sponsors Avalanche Ice Cream. <laughs> Avalanche will be open on Halloween. So, if mom stuffs a coat under your princess dress, know that you can swing by Avalanche and stick your sweaty face in the freezer. They'll be giving out free cones to anyone <laughs> who wears a costume. So, you know, dust off that Dracula cape and sink your fangs into a scoop of black forest cherry. Anyway, check it out. No, a phone. Wait, what? Oh, no, 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 the phone. Wait, the phone. There's ring, not my phone, right? There was the... Oh, man, why did I leave? The phone was literally ringing, man. Come on. Well. <laughs> yeah, dude, the phone. It's not my phone. It's not my phone. <laughs> it's not my phone. Anything new with, with this group chat? So, what does May... What? Anything new? No? There's no, there's been nothing new? Huh. Izzy. Oh, this is her ex. Did I freaking... Uh, did, did I uh, read these? Hey, home safe. I think it would be best if I blocked your number. It's not personal. I just feel like the temptation to text you would be too much. I don't want to let you get on with whatever it is you're doing out there. So, bye. <laughs> but, okay, alright. Oh, man. Complete, yeah, at Eden's drawing. I guess I'll just do those things, yeah. No, here you go. Been a while since I've worked on my song-ish thing. I've been tinkering with this one for like half a year and I still don't know what it's supposed to be. I like it, though, so far. Oh man, ooh, ooh, it's getting, it's getting good. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like, yeah, like, yeah. I don't know, I don't know what I'm thinking. It sounds like some sort of, like, fifth wave emo. Yeah, Hey Illy. It kind of sounds like that a little bit. Yeah. Like, what's it called? Like, Digicore or something? Something like that. Like, yeah. Like, a lot of... There's, like, this segment of fifth wave emo. <laughs> if people are uh, <laughs> aware. <laughs> where there's, like, a bunch of, like, chiptune type of, like, uh, music. You know? Uh, yeah. Hey Illy is an example of one of those uh, artists or bands. <laughs> It might sound pretty dope with a breakdown, right? Oh, 
and a vocal track. I had a dark breakdown. Dark. Maybe I'll really bring that epic victory vibe in the breakdown. Yeah, I guess it's gonna be complete in the next freaking chapter. Oh man, yeah, I needed to freaking get back. Yeah, the phone was literally ringing and I abandoned the freaking booth. <laughs> Yeah, here we go. Wow, convenient that the phone just started ringing once I entered here again. Hey, you're on the air with Steph. Hey, all right. Um, thanks for taking my call. Don't thank me yet. What can I predict you for? Well, I don't know. I'm out here for a three-week stay in the Firewatch Tower outside of town. Is this a reference to something? I, kind of <laughs> I mean, I know about the video game. Any booth tips? Three weeks alone? Dang. Three weeks alone in a little box. I thought yeah, I, I guess was it a is boss for surviving six-hour shifts in mine. What can I say? I'm a level ninety loner. How about yourself? <laughs> Probably closer to like level ten. All right, fireman. Since this is still a fortune-telling show, how about this? You can tell me my fortune. <laughs> well, I'm no radio psychic, but. I'll do my best. What would you like to know? What are the odds I end up being alone forever? <laughs> hmm. Okay. Is this a fear or an aspiration? <laughs> I mean, a little bit of both. Oh, aspiration for sure. Having total freedom, owing nothing to anyone? Sounds like the life. I don't have a crystal cootie catcher or whatever to look into but i can tell you this getting away from everyone is the easy part sometimes it's even too easy <laughs> it doesn't feel easy oh i know i wouldn't say that i've never left anyone without feeling bad ah uh, but feelings are portable you can take them with you straight out of town hmm so i learned this the hard way but the idea of being alone can be a lot more enticing than the reality. And too often, the people who want to be alone real bad, they're the ones who end up calling into radio shows just to hear a stranger's voice. But what? But that wasn't really a fortune, was it? Ah, you got me. I'll have to do better next time. Thanks for the chat. And thank you for listening to KRCT. Uh, another ad. Another, yeah. <laughs> we now Same return shit, to... Different day. Another ad. <laughs> KRCT is proudly sponsored by Grimley's uh, Auto... <laughs> Sales repair... I mean, repairs, I would assume. Repairs. Grimley's Auto Repairs. Haven Springs' most trusted name in automotive service. Let's talk about Grimley's record. They've proudly served our community for... <laughs> the love of it. <laughs> the love of it. A darn long time. Like, since the caveman days, when you had to stick your feet through the bottom of the car and just walk real fast. That's a level of experience you can trust. So if you or someone you love is a car, <laughs> you owe it to yourself to check out Grimley's. <laughs> okay, what else do I have to do? Same shit, different. Oh, all ads. I need two calls, man. Come on, someone freaking ring the phone. Someone. I guess that would work better if I was playing something theatro. Yeah, oh man. Yeah, 
Yeah. Will, will someone call if I freaking get read another ad or what? Oh, my cell phone. I could wait. I could check my cell phone right, right here, right. Oh man, anything else? Ooh, I Violet. I red like a week ago. Damn it, Vi. Oh. Why do you have to make it complicated? Here you go. Yeah, here you go. Here's the freaking yeah. Here's the whoa, the one freaking match we succeeded with. I wonder if there are different matches you can succeed with in this. Yeah, I want, they they must have designed it that way, right? I would assume there are like ones that like oh, obviously lead to <laughs> just a dead end, but I don't know. Okay, something. So yeah, I would assume I read this before. Yeah. Every hell, yeah. Oh god, this is a lot. This is a lot of freaking conversation, man. <laughs> a lot of conversation. Uh, were you at Denver Pride this year? So I don't drive, and also I work all the time, so I missed it. How was it? Good, fun, but not like that fun. Def overrated. You didn't miss anything. It's okay. I really want to know. Give it to me straight. Are you gonna make the obvious joke or should I? Well, give it to me, gay then. <laughs> <laughs> lol i mean you know pride is pride the parts that rule rule the parts that suck suck <sighs> i could probably guess what sucked but tell me anyway <laughs> the usual you know overpriced beer this sunburn the no weed rule no weed at pride what car companies suddenly pretending to care about queer folks <sighs> I mean, look, man, I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, I guess a rainbow logo is better than freaking nothing. That's what is, is in the mind of companies, <laughs> I would assume, <laughs> what goes through their minds. We're just like, I guess we just have to do it. We just have to change our logo, man. The NFL has to do it. The Major League Baseball has to do it. Just every freaking company, like a freaking you know, military weapons manufacturers being like, look, we have rainbow colored freaking missiles, okay? <laughs> It sounds nice. I should probably go get ready for work. It's been super cool getting to know you. Yeah. Uh, too bad you live so far away. It's like, what, two hours from here to Haven Springs? You know what? F it. If you wanted to grab a coffee sometime, I'd find a way to make it down. See? Look at that. Just two, just, you know, two hours? Yeah. <laughs> Violet, we are the inheritors of a legacy of lonely gays driving hours to meet up with one another. Our 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 mother Charlie XCX freaking uh uh <laughs> was the prophet in in telling us that this is my duty to those who have come before your reverence for our noble heritage has inspired me if you'd prefer I don't mind driving up to Haven I can come out it's seriously no sweat I can get the bus okay now I got to think of some place to take you okay yeah is this new. <laughs> Uh, you get home okay? Yeah, sorry. Oh, here you go. This is it. This is new. So, yeah, they went on this coffee date. Okay, so this is after that. You get home okay? Yeah, sorry. Just walked in the door. No worries. I'm glad you're safe. Sorry again about that dude at the bar. Haha, <laughs> it's fine. He was just a drunk asshole. Absolutely not your fault. He certainly was a drunk asshole. Nothing like some bro screaming kiss at me and my date to really set the mood. <laughs> like I'm working on it, man. If you'd effing butt out... Whoa, hold up. You didn't tell me there was a horror movie festival in Telluride? <laughs> Teller Telluride? Oh yeah, every Halloween. It's my annual excuse to leave the house the rest of the year. It's all about uh, skiing and rafting and endurance curling or whatever. Not my scene. Wait, is endurance curling a real thing? Well, no. Probably? Well, whatever. We should go. Sure, I've never curled before. Much less endurance curled, but I'd be down. The movie fest. The horror movie fest. I'll grab us ticks as soon as they go on sale. Okay, so I guess this is a separate day? <laughs> oh, what a shitty night. Bummer, what happened? Sure you have the bandwidth? I'm working. Might be on and off tonight, but I'll check in when I can. <laughs> okay. So I just got home from, like, the worst date ever. Ooh, ooh, I guess we're not exclusive. I mean, I mean, I guess that makes sense, I guess. She was just immediately disengaged from the moment I sat down. <laughs> Did you tweet about it? <laughs> Uh, she made eye contact with me like one time. She asked me if I was gold star. <laughs> what? How is that any of her business? Thank you. Anyway, the whole night I kept thinking about how much I'd rather be with you. Ooh, ooh. Thinking about how much dating sucks and how lucky we got when we met each other. And I don't know. May how maybe we should like have the what are we conversation. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. oh, I guess I did have to read all of that. Oh, man. 
what do you mean put it off? Yeah, we, 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 I have to respond. It's a, it's our only match, man. It's our only hope of freaking dating someone, man. Come on, until freaking Alex comes along. Look, man, there's going to be this really cute freaking uh, empath, you know, Asian girl that's going to come in in about, like, you know, a few months uh, from this point. So, like, look, man, we got to, whatever they are, they got to get it over with soon. <laughs> hey, I am so sorry. I've been really busy. I mean, what? Oh, come on, man. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's bad. Don't do that. Don't do that. I've been really busy. I've just been really swamped lately. Uh, I kind of got overwhelmed. I shouldn't have just disappeared like that. And she immediately replied, You just suddenly got busy right when I tried to have a conversation with you about our relationship? Oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Oh, no. Please. <laughs> oh, God. It's more... Co what do you mean it's more complicated? Wait. Oh. Okay. So, so there has been more stuff. It's the truth. It's more complicated than that. Okay. All right. How is it more complicated, Steph? I mean, there's more to it than that. I just had a lot of shit on my plate. And then, and then on top of that, you wanted to have kind of a heavy conversation. And I guess I just got freaked out. Okay. All right. Man, is this why? Is this why freaking, like, everyone is in a situation ship? Like, this is why? Like, people just can't have a conversation? Like, really, man? It's not that everyone is freaking shy or has social anxiety, right? It's like, oh, man. Well, I mean, obviously, there are the people who just who would just rather have it be casual, right? But it's like, damn, people like I don't know, man. <laughs> Freaking this modern love, man. <laughs> I didn't think it was that heavy. I mean, I don't know, maybe not. It seemed heavy at the time. Okay, all right. How would you have answered if you hadn't gotten freaked out? I mean, <laughs> I can't do this. I mean, why not? Why not? Why why not be with this girl? For a time. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean it has to last forever, okay? I like you a lot, V. <laughs> Vi. And if uh what you're looking okay, come on, come on. If what you're looking for right now is like something partnery, I wanna have that conversation. Really? I wouldn't say it if I didn't mean it. Then why does it feel wrong? Steph, you vanished. <laughs> when the world needed you most, you vanished. And maybe it wasn't because of what I said, and maybe it was, but either way, things got scary and you hid. That's not fair, I know. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's true, yeah. <laughs> I know, and I'm sorry, but Vi, that wasn't about you, okay? You know that, right? I don't think it matters what it was about. How long until something else happens and you're gone? How long will I have to sit around wondering? Well, I mean, by, you know, April of 2019, you're, you, you'll stop having to wonder. So this isn't what I want. I don't think we should talk for a while. I hope you figure some shit out. Okay, 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 all right, okay. She should have responded immediately, and she's taking it very hard. Okay. All right. <laughs> She's not buying that freaking, you know, uh, it, it, she was, uh, Steph was too busy to have the freaking, uh, should we be in a relationship conversation? Oh, man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. At least, at least they got a date, man. At least they got to be on a date. I don't need your pity. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, God. Come on, man. The one match, man. This is how, this, this is how it goes, man. Come on, man. Oh, man. Oh, God. First Emily is away and now this man. That's what I it's always what I'm thinking, man. Well, there you go. Come, come on, man. Come on, man. Dating can't be that hard, right? There has to be freaking some sort of easy way for people to get together, man. Maybe I need to watch anyone but you I and freaking to talk up our you know, sponsors if I want get to hope. get paid. Oh man. Kind Haven listeners, by now you've heard me talk about everything the Black Lantern is famous for. Great food, great beer, great service, and great atmosphere. So what are you waiting for? One more reason to go? Then consider. <laughs> Dinner hour? <laughs> Dinner hour? Um, don't worry. You can still get dinner outside of that one hour. But yeah, dinner hour at the Lantern, it's the best. And just when you thought it couldn't get any better, you can now look forward to. 
<laughs> Live lobster. Live lobster on Monday evenings, also known as the bison of the ocean. These hefty uh. creatures will be shipped to Colorado still kicking. Bison of the ocean? Snap of your fingers. Drop by today and tell them Steph sent you. Still got chores to do in the store. Better head out there. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, I don't know, man. <laughs> this, this this thing really is nailing freaking just how hard it is, man. <laughs> uh, there's a loneliness epidemic. There's all these things. There's cut articles written about it. Written about it. There's tweets, freaking tweeting about it. <laughs> what can we do, man? What can we honestly do, man? Honestly. <laughs> Let's see what I have left. <laughs> oh, chores good. to tackle all of it shelve the comics clean up the trash shove new albums in the new releases section find a cd requested in andy's email all right just a few chores oh left. there's a phone there's a phone there's a collar we have a collar Oh man. You're on a step. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> nice okay. guy. I need your help. I'm in trouble with HR. What did you do? I screwed up. I was chatting with my coworker about the gym. We were talking about leg day, and she said she <laughs> on her lower body. Oh. Here it comes. What did you say? I said her butt was fine as is, and she shouldn't worry about it, which was dumb. Yeah, this is in the 50s, you think? I mean, yeah. Yeah, you think it's dumb to talk about your coworker's butt? I know, but does it really need to be a whole big thing? <laughs> I mean, I don't I'm know, I haven't seen it. I'm not that kind of guy, really. <laughs> but now I'm freaking out. Can you tell me what will happen with HR? I'll see what I can do. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, I have to do D20. Ten. The most nothing number on the die. A conversation with HR. Not much to go on from the dice roll. So... What do I think this guy deserves? <laughs> Someone to slap his ass? I don't know. The riot act. <laughs> I mean, he, I mean, he just seems it's like, yeah, I know I did a dumb thing, but, you know. I mean, like, he didn't say he apologized. I mean, yeah, probably. <laughs> it's, it's, my do it's my duty as a man playing a woman in a video game <laughs> to give a man <laughs> in a video game the riot act. I'm back. Ready to face the music? Let's just get it over with. You sit down with HR in a hard plastic waiting room chair next to a hang in there poster from the 80s. You tell HR the same story you told me about leg day and not being that kind of guy, but your HR rep isn't having any of it. No, really? You read the riot act about appropriate workplace interactions, notes get scribbled in your file. In the end, you're let off with an official warning. That's so unfair. It was a stupid mistake. <laughs> Does that make me some creep all of a sudden? I mean, you don't have to listen to Radiohead. <laughs> no, but you're an asshole. Yeah, no, relax. Okay, relax. No one is calling you a creep. But you don't have to be a creep to have done a creepy thing. And if you mm. weren't a creep, you'd care that what you said Dan. had the effect of creeping someone out. Right? I guess. So prove it. Take your punishment, learn your lesson, and move on. Please direct any further questions to your HR rep. Thanks for the call. All right. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Answer two calls. There you go. That's basically all the radio duties. I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it just seems like you just made said a dumb thing, you know? Yeah, like, is it the, the, the reporter, the Indiana Beach reporter? Yeah. 
or columnist that uh, said that weird thing to Caitlin Clark, you know? Like, I don't know, man. Just the, the stuff Caitlin Clark has had to go through. <laughs> well, just like the narratives, all the discussion around her, not just what she, yeah, not necessarily what she goes through, like playing basketball. There's old, old discussions on that that I guess I talk about on the Minecraft series, but I don't know, man. <laughs> that thing with that, uh, that interaction with that columnist was just weird. You know, how he was just like, just, just if you do that to me, if you make a heart to me, <laughs> we're going to get along just fine. It's like, ugh. All right. So I have to shelve these albums, man. Where do I shelve the albums? Get it? Steph picks instead of staff picks? Ryan made me do it. <laughs> Instructional. Okay, but... How to Become a Home Inspector includes 10 aggressively personal journal prompts, and they're amazing. Ooh, a chandelier, an old organ. <laughs> trash. <laughs> Just trash. There you go. Mom? Oh! The whole town is rubble! It'll what be house soon! I'm taking shelter, but I love you, I was not okay? prepared for that, Mom! man. What the hell? Mom! Dude, just by looking at a freaking trash bag, excuse me? Hello? <laughs> Come on, man. I was having a fun time, man. It was a great freaking time, man. We didn't it didn't have to be reminded of freaking Arcadia Bay like that. What the hell? Jesus, man. Oh, man. Hey, it's Gabe's bike. Oh, shit. I need to give this back. <gasps> the campaign's kind of on hiatus right now. Can't afford them yet. You can't just let customers pluck up all the good stuff. Oh, here you go. You could draw more to Ian Ethan's drawing. But wait, there's more. <laughs> the kids are wanted. It's all a painting. <laughs> Think I'll throw Ethan a little curveball. Let's see what Ethan does with that. That <laughs> water cooler, hey. Sometimes I stand here and gossip about myself. Damn, Ninja Cat, I just filled this up. Still haven't figured out what's making my snare buzz. Ugh. Pull yourself together, Misty. A whole a sticker beam. I won't rest until you're more sticker than support beam. I uh, got these. No. Hey horse, did you know that gummy bears are made out of horse feet? <laughs> Hope the last person who used this remembered to clock out. We can't afford 15 years of overtime. So what do yeah, uh, yeah, find Andy's CD. Where, where is it in the email? Oh, this one? Oh, it's in this. Is it? <laughs> Gotta oh. grab this from the CD section. Two Rocky Mountain record traders. I was hoping to put a CD on hold. The new Apocalypse Red album? Apocalypse Red. Oh man, okay, so I knew was I, I need to find it? Yeah. I need to find it and stock yeah, stock new releases and reshelve the comics. Here you go. Let me can I reshelve these? Still amazes me that we now sell comics. Props to Thanor for drumming up so much interest. No? This <laughs> is I have to do something to the comics first. Here you go. Search. Found it.
<laughs> shattered. <laughs> the dude, what is going on, man? Just now. I guess it isn't it? Oh, it's because in Oct it's October. That's why. Oh, that's what Mikey is talking about Come in the text. Page. That's what it is. Yeah, because it happened October 11th. Oh. And it's been five years because it's 2018. Ah, that's what's been going on. That's what it is. Yeah. So, like, yeah. Here, yeah, here when Mikey is saying, yeah, when Mikey is saying, especially since tomorrow is, oh. So this is, this is the day before, uh, th yeah, this is the day before, uh, <laughs> Arcadia Bay was destroyed by the storm. That's why, that's why it's popping up. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> not, not insignificant, huh? So glad I decided to hang on to this monstrosity. Yeah, so I found the CD. I need to stock the new releases and reshelve the comics, man. Anything? Yeah, can I talk with Violet still? No? <laughs> I don't think we should talk for a while. Oh, man. Groove Fruit? It's gonna be a lot of work, but I'm on a roll now. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna leave the rest of this for the new employee, assuming I can get one. I can't even imagine working in the shop in the throes of beetle mania. I wonder how long it took to get the sin of hairspray and Jack Daniels out of the shop. Man, the 90s must have been a wild time to be an <laughs> Moms Against dork. Satanic Songs. I can't imagine doing the same job for like four decades. Man, 2004? She retired in 04, wow. Wait, but then who was, yeah, who was running it freaking since then, then? It was just community run, I guess? No, Ryan, they mean remaining players who also hatched a dragon egg. Duh. No, <laughs> what? If that player cannot, oh, it's explaining the freaking D&D &D thing. If two or more players hatch a dragon egg card at the same time, <laughs> Was it? The rules are pretty darn clear. I demand a rematch. Oh, oh it's a boy. It's a card game. Resumes. <laughs> People are, tur are turning into resumes. You need to turn in a resume to work here, man. Excuse me? We haven't exactly been getting the cream of the crop for this job opening. <laughs> Jay Lowell bio i'm the kind of guy that when people talk to me i make them feel like a million bucks i listen to a lot of music and also on the radio if you hire me as a dj you won't regret it camp counselor canary cafe dogs taught about being a rideshare drive for a while i write songs too skills listening to music talking about music <laughs> cpr whatever else you need references his aunt and and a friend called chad smith his supervisor. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so how do I reshelve these comics? <laughs> how do I do that? I guess. <laughs> I guess I'll cut it if it gets to be too long. But, oh, here we go. That's what these were. <laughs> My god, dude, every freaking everything is reminding her of it, man. It is cool, but I guess it is cool seeing like how Steph personally was affected. I don't know. I am so not having this right now. Man, I wonder how Steph Last and Max would have gotten along. Just get it done. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think it just seems that freaking like Chloe and Rachel and Steph were probably just too cool for Max, man. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> a lot. Yeah, look, man, the objective view of Life is Strange is that freaking Chloe and Max are D ship, but you know, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if I made my point clear before, but you know, I think I'm firmly. I, I don't think there really is like uh like that strong of a presence of the other ship <laughs> Rachel and freaking Chloe but I don't know whatever that is I'm on that side man <laughs> mostly <laughs> in terms of like the better kind of ship in the series but whatever what do I know 
No matter how many times I clean it, I can't get rid of the smell. I should probably stop sourcing my daily caloric intake from this table. What do I need to do now? I have to stock the new releases. A mysterious box. Backseat bingo. Why does that sound familiar? Oh, it can. Wait, can I search it? No, oh, I can open it. Holy shit. Like, Kasha Kasha? Ooh. Ooh. Horace Grassley. Yeah, I need to find the new releases, man. Where are they? <laughs> I'll find it eventually. Yeah, it's somewhere in this freaking section. Here you go. There you go. Shelved the new releases. There you go. All of the freaking menial freaking tasks. This would be, like really this would be such a killer job, right? Like, like all you have to do is stop is like do these like little things. Yeah, I don't know. Just like any other day. Just like any other fucking day. <laughs> Gabe. Gabe's a great friend. <laughs> More importantly, he's got booze. When I'm done here, I'll close up the DJ booth and call him. Yeah, so like, I don't know, I guess. I don't know, but like, I don't know, like, that's the thing about, like, the ending where Arcadia Bay does get destroyed. It's like, who, honestly, like, who, like, <laughs> yeah, like, how, how was, how was the evacuation plan for, like, all of the, the people, you know? <laughs> like, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there is, like, a comic series I saw, yeah, that, I think it started in, like, 2019 or something, yeah, that, like, continued it from the perspective, yeah, from... Arcadia Bay getting destroyed, but I don't know. Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we know the diner got destroyed, right? But, like, I don't know, like, in, in the ending where Arc Arcadia Bay does get destroyed, what confused me, <laughs> a, a part that confused me was that, like, Mac, it's, you know, spoilers. Oh, <laughs> can't wait to be done with work. Yeah, so, uh, 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 spoilers, but I don't know. I feel like if I'm playing this, like, then freaking, I don't know. It, this is, like, <laughs> in the u universe. Like, but, like, they are driving through the remains of Arcadia Bay in that one ending. And, like, I just wonder, like, how many, like, of the cast was, like, actually alive by the end of it. Like, Victoria, <laughs> Warren, like, Joyce. It's like, I don't know, man. Like, who who lived? <laughs> That's the thing we don't know, <laughs> I guess. Or, like, maybe it's been, yeah. May maybe it's been, like, uh, uh, stated before, but I don't know. I guess I just haven't, I don't rem uh, necessarily remember it. So, you have to call Gabe, text Gabe. Here you go. <laughs> yeah what is this <laughs> this movie makes no sense yeah it, no this is May <laughs> oh I have to close up the booth okay ooh is Gabe gonna appear here No, oh, there you go just close it up man we're done for today <laughs> Gabe, listen, I want to drink until I can't feel feelings. Think you can help me out? I'll be right there. <laughs> I think this might be the end of the friggin' section. <laughs> There's still one notification. Is it from Mikey? Can we talk with Mikey, please? Oh, man. Hey, Mikey! <laughs> I understand. I understand, okay? I know how this time of year is. When these memories attack you, and all you want to do is shut them out, I know you would give anything to get true tonight without thinking of Arcadia Bay, or the storm, or me. But just in case, I'm here for you, and I always will be. 
No matter how effing terrible this night always is, I'm not the least bit sorry that I still have you in my life. And I know you feel the same, even if you're the literal worst at showing it. Anyway, you know I'm around and could definitely use some gaming distraction. No pressure, really, but I'm around. <laughs> nice, right? Thank you, Mikey. Oh, fuck. Damn it, Mikey. Oh snap, look at that, here he is, look at that. Oh snap, we're gonna bringing the band, he had the really old for DM. Like I said, this time of year for me, it's... Uh, Thank you, oh wow, look at that, Mikey. Well, you know. In the, uh, almost flesh. In the yeah. flesh, true a screen. <laughs> Damn, why am I such a downer? Come on, let's see what monsters and trickery you have planned for Elamon to breeze past this week. <laughs> You're on. I just need to do a few things to get set up. Okay, where were we? Oh man, oh, we're gonna do a little bit of this. It sucks that I haven't played before the storm on this channel, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Look, it, it's all it's all a possibility. I could get back to freaking finishing the first game, you know? It, or playing, yeah. I probably w wouldn't play Life is Strange 2. I don't know. I don't think there necessarily is a reason to play it again and experience that story again. <laughs> not that it's not good, but still. Yeah, not that it's not good. It's just that, you know. I definitely remember Elamon was in a better position than that. So you have to roll the dice? Let's see what horrible surprises are in store for you in the next room. Bring it on. We playing or not? Shh, well is this coming? Oh shit! Penis! <laughs> <laughs> Man, what nice memories. I think Chloe and Rachel are playing their own game. <laughs> no. No. Pass me the nerd dice. The what? <sighs> Pass me the D20, the D10, nerd and dice. D4, please. Sure thing. I'm gonna bash this Hydra's head in with its other heads. You got this. Everything okay? <laughs> Useless box. <laughs> Just reminiscing. Just some memories. Good memory or bad memory? <laughs> Is there a difference? I know what you mean. Sometimes the most painful memories are from before all this shit went down. <laughs> I wasted so much time being jealous of Chloe and Rachel. <laughs> Whatever they had, <laughs> I thought it was perfect. It definitely was not perfect, Steph. And It definitely now. was not. Killed. For what? Yeah, of like... No. Nope. Ugh. I feel so fucking guilty that I spent even one second being anything but appreciative that they were in my life. Even the people I didn't <laughs> like. I didn't have to be so, I don't know, judgmental, I guess. <laughs> Just because they're gone now doesn't change who they were. Gone? You really think you did anything wrong? Oh, yeah. I didn't do anything right. You ever talk to Chloe? No, I hear she's off the radar like me. The two wandering weirdos. <laughs> Look, Steph, what you're feeling... I'm fine. Come on, let's keep playing. Man. <laughs> uh, it's cool, like, get it, yeah, because this is, yeah, like, if, I guess if, uh, yeah, to, uh, if anyone wants a, a bit of information, uh, yeah, Deck Nine. Remember Elamon was in a Come on, man. Than that. Deck Nine developed uh, before the storm, and like Steph originally appeared in Before the Storm, which was the prequel, the, the three-part prequel to uh, the first game, the first Life is Strange game. 
uh, which came afterwards. Yeah. I remember when it came out, too. Like, I guess I should pause it in case some dialogue pops up. <laughs> I remember when it came out, too. To like, yeah. Like, I saw it in the Xbox store. <laughs> and, like, I did not know at all that there was going to be another Life is Strange game. And I was like, damn, is there going to be a season two? Is there going to be another Life is Strange game? I was thinking. Because I just, yeah. I think at that point I played through the game, like, three or four times at that point. And then... <laughs> I found, I saw it, and I'm like, oh, damn, I need to play it, and then, yeah, basically, <laughs> it was a great experience, man, my senior year, as I was just like, yeah, that was like the fall of 2017, yeah, so I, yeah, I'd begun reading, like, young adult books at that time, it was just the, the storm, the perfect storm in, in 2017, man, so what do we have to do in this campaign? I believe Elamon was about to enter the mayor's hidden bunker. Sounds right. Fuck! Water seeping in! Roll for perception. This storm is... is biblical. Why hasn't Drew called back yet? Biblical? Anything from your mom? She'll be fine. My house is safe. You know what isn't, though? Your position. You're surrounded by enchanted skeletons, and your HP is fucked. Now roll. Fuck. I'm sorry. This was a bad idea. <laughs> no, it's, cool. it's fine. We can stop. Come on, staff man. Yeah. Power true, man. No. I don't know. Uh, How do you deal with the thoughts that won't go away? What do you mean? Our deaths? What? Ugh. You know, how close it was to being us. Man, Drew? Oh, yeah. Like wondering how we would have gone out if we were there? Sure. All the time. Being crushed next to my brother. Or one of those cars that got ripped apart. Sometimes it feels so real that I wake up and I'm surprised it didn't happen. I've watched my mom die a thousand times in my mind, running into the basement grabbing her rosary beads, screaming in fear. It's always a little different each time. The differences are the fucking worst. But maybe talking about it helps. Yeah, maybe. You know we don't have to keep playing. Let's try. <laughs> I guess we're here, we still are playing. Yeah, did I finish the, yeah, the thought about Deck 9? Yeah, it's just cool seeing that Deck 9 made this freaking game. Where and, are you know, my notes? Also, yeah, made uh, True Colors and like, you know, just the character, yeah, of Steph that Deck 9 created, I guess. Because Don't Nod made the original game. Uh, that was the developer who made the original Life is Strange. And just seeing, like, them take Steph and, like, these characters that they made <laughs> in their own freaking separate version of their Life is Strange game. And, like, just see them here and the storyline continued and, like, it mixed in with, you know, a, a bit with Chloe's story. I don't know. doing this remotely is I can't peek at your notebook. I need to check my notes. Hey, take your time. And that's minus five HP. Oh, come on. How is your GMing even more devious from Seattle? Must be the rain. Hey, listen. You know next week is the... Well, it's the thing. One year. <laughs> I was thinking... Why don't you come? It'll be... Well, you know... It'll be fucking horrible, <laughs> Just see the wreckage, or see, like, what? a little less horrible if we're both there? 
I just want to know what it looks yeah. like, man. <laughs> that sounds good. I just want to know, like, what the actual freaking town this? looks like. I said we could stop. No, I mean, why are you doing this? I ghosted you. Again. When I ghost people, they go away. That's how it works. <laughs> but you didn't. He has no other friends. <laughs> Why do you think? <sighs> because you're sentimental. Ooh. I mean. <laughs> because I'm such a car wreck of a person, you can't look away even if you want to. Is that really what you think? Fuck. Steph, I've taken a lot of shit from you over the years, but this... I need you. <laughs> That's why I keep coming back. In high school, I didn't know who I was without being Steph's best friend. And now when we hang out, it feels like I'm bringing that part of myself back from the dead. <laughs> I need you because I'm not strong enough to be my real self without you in my life. <laughs> my real self. That's it. It's pretty fucking dumb of me, huh? They're <laughs> really dumb. <laughs> Mikey, I'm so sorry. I know you are. It's not just you. If it makes you feel any better, I do this shit to everyone. It doesn't. But continue. Ever since Arcadia Bay. It's like the moment I start to care about someone or some place, that's it. It's a matter of time before I find something wrong. And I'm out. <laughs> Maybe they should have made uh, like a whole game just focusing on Steph, but I don't okay. know. I guess this was a compromise, man. <gasps> Maybe being a wandering weirdo is your destiny. <laughs> a wandering weirdo? What do you mean? Like Elamon. Adventure will always find. She only moved like twice. I mean, it's not wandering. I mean, like, dude, Chloe and Max, they're the real freaking wanderers, man. Come on. Well, I don't know, like, if, like, yeah, like, Max is not really, she hasn't been mentioned here or, like, stated. I don't know. Like, I, I would assume, like, she's a character. <laughs> I guess it's just because it's strictly in, like, uh, Deck Nine's view or perspective. I never thought of it that way. Hey. That's why I'm here. I don't deserve you as a best friend. But I promise I'll do better. Because the truth is, I need you too. <laughs> now will you quit stalling and take your damn turn? Just because Elamon's totally screwed doesn't mean you get to distract me all night. He is. I think you're forgetting about the protection amulet I got off that Cyclops last session. I don't forget anything. And don't think I don't have any Halloween surprises planned for you. Oh, spooky. Man, that was a really cool freaking section, man. <laughs> Reminiscing on the past. Oh, man. Really freaking cool. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. I guess is that is that it? Is it? Yeah, here you go. And now this is the last okay. freaking chapter. We've had no calls in the past hour, which means you're all either partying or sleeping. Both of which I respect. I gotta yeah. say though, if you haven't tried spending New Year's Eve locked in a small room talking to yourself, <laughs> I highly recommend it. Honestly. I might do this every year. Oh man, hey, Steph with the beanie back. <laughs> hey there, you're live on KRCT and I'm not alone in the universe. Who's this? Hey, it's Gabe. Ooh. It's everyone's favorite bartender. <laughs> Made any resolutions? How's the lantern? Mmm. 
So, what are your resolutions and how many have you already broken? Yeah, um, I was actually hoping to get your take on one of them. <laughs> Great. Let me throw in a song and then call you. No, no, I meant... I called the show so I could talk to the psychic. Oh. All right. What's on your mind? There's... Someone in my family who might be totally alone right now. <laughs> Talk to her. I've been thinking of reaching out to her. Yeah, do it. The thing is, it's been seven years, and all that time I never got in touch. <laughs> Maybe you weren't ready. Mm. Maybe you weren't ready yet. Maybe if you had, it wouldn't have helped either of you. No, look, the truth is, I'm terrified of talking to her. I don't know what she's been through. I don't even know if she's okay. I'm freaking out that she hates me, and honestly, I bet I could handle that if I knew it was coming. So, I'm calling you to ask, what's going to happen if I contact her? What's she going to say? <laughs> well, she's probably going to read your mind, you first of all. I'm not actually psychic, right? <laughs> don't ruin it. Okay. Give me a second. Guess what? It's looking bright. Seriously? What would be super good for Gabe? <laughs> a sense of purpose. <laughs> An honest conversation. You reach out, the two of you have a really tough conversation. You talk for two hours. She says all the things you afraid she would. <laughs> That's a podcast, man. <laughs> She's hurt. She's wary. Your absence really hurt. For years, she thought you didn't want her in your life anymore. This is supposed to be good? When you hang up... You're exhausted, emotionally raw, but you're also grateful because now you know exactly what needs to be rebuilt and you can roll up your sleeves and get started. You admit you screwed up and you don't try to rush anything. Gradually, she starts texting you back once a week, twice a week, first thing every morning until one day she sends you a screenshot of her phone history. <laughs> it's calls to Gabe all the way down. And you realize she's saying she's so happy you're back in her life. Thanks. Thank you for calling. Wow. How's the station? You lonely over there? Honestly, no. Things are pretty great. Okay. Then I'll see you. This might be just the end right here. Yeah. <laughs> Is that it? No, Read no. Ads, play songs, <laughs> take calls. There's still more, I'm man. I'm a fully automated DJ. <sighs> oh, man. Yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess that's, uh, yeah, it for this freaking section. I will finish it. Yeah, I will finish this <laughs> soon, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, right before Thursday, because that's when, uh, <laughs> something I care about <laughs> somewhat. Still, I still, I still care about freaking <laughs> basketball. Who would have freaking taught? I mean, there's gonna be some WNBA games in there, but yeah, <laughs> man, I, w I will try to freaking get this out before then, uh, before the 6th of June, so yeah, anyways, I guess see uh, you all on the next uh, part. Hopefully, there was no copyright strikes or no freaking blocking of this video. I let that stop me from reading it. Come on, Steph, man, come on. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and see you on the next part of this, which will hopefully wrap it up.